she was the same. The same face, the same voice. But even so, she didn't know me at all. You mean you? Yes. Well, no questions? Before we came here, you said it was personal stuff, remember? I'm a smart girl, I can take a hint. So, I'm not going to pry. Yeah, sorry. And thanks. Sure. <laughs> Lightning, Noel and I traveled to Erba. You wouldn't believe how much happened to us there. We found a prophecy that the Seeress of the Farseers had reported. We saw a young girl called Yule, just like the Cirrus. And we met a man named Caius, the man you were fighting in my dream. I guess what worries me the most, though, is that Noel looks sad. Sadder than I've ever seen him. And there's something else, too. The strange thing that both Caius and Yule said about the past. If you change the future, you change the past. I'm afraid of what that might mean for us. When Noel and I solved the paradox, we changed the future. Does that mean the past of Hope and the others has also changed? At the summit of Yashus stands the ruins of the Farsia city Padra. This was the capital of a flourishing civilization storied in the annals of Grand Pulse. Here, the young Hope Estime is leading the academy in an effort to learn more about the mysterious Oracle Drive. However, this world is not like the world of 10 AF that Noel and Sarah had visited previously. Things have changed.
The sun is back in the sky. The eclipse is over. Or it never existed in the first place. History here has changed. If the paradox didn't happen, then maybe Hope never had any reason to come here. There's still the Oracle Drive. Maybe that would have been enough of a draw for her. Only one way to find out. Changing the future will also change the past. Is this what she meant? The eclipse doesn't happen because we solve the paradox in the future? Maybe. But we can't be sure. But I don't get it. I can see how the past can affect the future. But how does it work in reverse? It makes no sense at all. Yeah, well, damned if I know. Maybe Hope or Alyssa can tell us. The foul sea that caused the eclipse. What was it looking for? Sky. The future, maybe? Who knows?
Welcome home. How did you... Yule! Did you come through the gate too? The one you met was a different Yule. A Yule from the future. What? Huh. So, you don't know me either? I know about you. I've been watching you both. You can see the future, can't you? I can trace the timeline. I see the future and lead others along the correct path. I came here to confirm something I already know. You and I are the same. What do you mean? You, too, can show others the way. Wait! I don't get it! How are we the same? Looks like Yule lives in this time, too. No, are you okay? Yeah, it was just so... unexpected. It threw me for a loop. She said I was the same as her. I wonder what she meant by that. She also said you can show others the way. It sounded like I'm supposed to do something. Like a mission or a destiny. Maybe your job is to... show us the true timeline. You mean like what I'm doing now? Changing the future and all that? We journeyed through time. Solved the paradox. And met two girls who looked exactly the same. And now, at last, we found our way back to Hope's Oracle Drive. He'll be waiting for us. Or perhaps he won't. Maybe after all this time, Hope has forgotten us. I was afraid of what would happen if no one was here. I guess the ruins were interesting enough. They didn't need the paradox to draw them here. was solved, the eclipse never darkened the sky in the first place. No one remembered that Nolan and I had been here. But, even so, Hope was there, waiting for us. Of course, his memories had changed. We had our ten-year reunion all over again, as if our last meeting had never happened. When we explained his memories had changed because the paradox had been dissolved, Hope believed us without question. And then... I have something I want to show you. This is a recording of the future. We are unable to identify the location or circumstances. There is one thing we're sure about, however. And remember, we don't know what era this is. Lightning is alive in that place. In my memory, Lightning disappeared after the battle with Orphan. But she's living somewhere in the future. So it's not just a dream, is it? She's out there. Then... 
going to find her. Koopa Koopa? And you will find her, Sarah. After all, you traveled through time and found me. <laughs> Many years of research have finally borne fruit. It all began with the Oracle Drive. We excavated it from ruins many centuries old. Yet it recorded an image of Cocoon, supported on a pillar of crystal. It was an impossibility, an enigma. Impossible, but a reality nonetheless. This is when I learned what I must do. If it was possible to journey through time and look into the future, then it must also be possible to travel backwards and change the past. Right. I wanted to change history, make things better, not just bring lightning back, but Vanille and Fang and my mother. So that's what your research was about. <laughs> Chasing the impossible, you might say. But you've made me realize something. It's clear to me now we are not the only ones who are intervening in history. Oh? The past has already been changed. Mm. Sarah, you are the only one who remembers a time when lightning survived the fall of Cocoon. Yeah. yeah. Director! Necessarily rewritten, it could be the original prophecy restored as it once was. Perhaps a continuation of the first recording. If this is showing us the future, then someday Cocoon will fall. Noel, you told me in your time Cocoon didn't exist like it does now. Yeah, it came to ground long before I was born. After it happened, the whole world just fell apart pretty much. But who made it fall? Could it have been Caius? No. He couldn't do that. When is Cocoon supposed to fall? How many years? Is it soon? No. Not for a couple of centuries. Oh, that's a long time from now. I mean, none of us will even be alive to see it. <sighs> but others will. Hm. Cocoon will fall into Grand Pulse. Imagine the catastrophe. Think how many lives will be destroyed. Right. That's the future I lived in. It doesn't have to happen. No, we can change the future. We can stop Cocoon from falling and make your world a better place. Yeah, but how? You think you can go to the time when it falls and hold it up yourselves? Do you even have a gate to take you there? Well, we... It might not be necessary to travel to the specific time and place. How so? The future depends on what we do now, right? Yes, there is a chance Cocoon will fall, but we can start working now to prevent it from happening. Right. But what if you can't hope? We can at least work to mitigate the damage. If we begin our research now, we have time. Then, should Cocoon indeed fall, we can help protect the planet and save the victims. Okay, let's do it. We could try to solve things at the other end, in the future. <laughs> while you start preparing in the here and now. Yes, let's change the future. <laughs> if you change the future... If you change the future, you change the past. Sarah? It's nothing. Hope, thank you for the help. Time will separate us, but we'll share a common goal. Hmm. Hope dreamed of changing the past. The weight of history drove him forward. But now... He's turning to face the future. A future even more frightening than the past. Sarah, do you believe too? Do you believe in your own past?
Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline. Put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. Listen, Hope. What are we supposed to do if we want to save the future? The space-time is twisted and must be straightened. Find the largest paradox and resolve the contradictions. Tell me, Noel. Looking back from the future, what was the most dramatic event in history? <sighs> the fall of Cocoon, no question. Wait. Do you think someone created a paradox to make that happen? Assuming such a thing is possible, then yes, maybe. Again, hypothetically speaking, I wonder if the man that Lightning was fighting is involved. If he is, we're in big trouble. I shall try to avert the tragedy. Then, just maybe, you will have homes you can return to. It seems unbelievable the Crystal Pillar could become so fragile. It was weakened, little by little, over many centuries. The war was simply the straw that broke Cocoon's back. But what does Caius want? Believe in your future. You can bring the people you love together again. I'll try to help in any way I can. There's still so much we don't know. It does give us a reason to hope. It's unbelievable the crystal pillar could become so... It was weakened, but what does... No. You know, I started this journey hoping to find my sister. But now, I want more. I want to save the future. So do I, Sarah. So do I. Time to travel again. Koopal? Find the gate and the key, Koopal! Right now, we don't have a clue where the artifact might be. But there are still some places we haven't checked out. We should try asking some of the I still find it hard to believe, though, that my memories can just change like that. The director came by earlier to tell us you've been granted special access to the excavation site. The area where they found the Oracle Drive is up ahead. It's exciting to think there may be other amazing objects buried there too.